go. What's going on, everybody? I'm back to come at you with Driven Hard. And in today's video, we got a really special one. We're gonna go through all of the off-road terrain settings in Ladder River's Terrain Response 2 system. And we're gonna call some bullshit on it. Is all this tech really necessary? Or is one mode really all you need? So we are at the hill climb. It is a super, super foggy and wet day. So I'm gonna walk you through what we're about to do. We'll go check out the hill. It's slippery, it's a little muddy down there. I've only ever done this in the dry. Mrs. Driven Hard over there, she's like, are you gonna get stuck? When was the last time I got stuck? It's been a couple of weeks. But um, yeah, so let's go have some fun. Let's go check out the bottom of the hill and show you what we're gonna do. All right, so here we are at the bottom of this hill climb. So we're gonna start just coming off the road here and you can see it's muddy, there's some tire ruts. Um, I've never seen it in this type of condition before. I'm actually a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be heading up here and there's the easier path uh, to my left, which is boring. So we're gonna take up this middle pass, which is a lot more rutted out than it was last time. These rocks are already pretty slick when they're dry. Um, plus, plus, if you come over here, all right, so there's a ton of loose rocks here, but then also there's a whole bunch of these branches. And this big, this big mother of one right here, which is giving me difficulties in the dry. Um, so I just gotta remember to keep my momentum up so I can pop over that because uh, it's definitely, that's definitely gonna stop me in my tracks. Uh, Cause the tires aren't gonna grip that to get over. But uh, yeah, and then a whole bunch of uh, loose rocks going through this narrow section. Sometimes it gets up on three wheels. So hopefully I can uh, figure out what angle to, to tackle to get that. Cause that, that, that's always good video, right? Good video. But uh, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So uh, this is gonna be st step one. So what we're gonna do for this one is here, if you sc scroll down here, we'll put it into grass, gravel, and snow mode for the loose traction. We'll, we'll try that out first. Put that into neutral, select low range. It's automatically jacking up the suspension. And you see here on the dash, right? It's giving me all the off-road information now, right? What the diffs are doing, articulation for the wheels. And uh, I don't know if you can even see the heads up display, right? That's pretty cool. All right, so here we go. My prediction, all right, so there's a slippery rock we are not getting over. Check out the wheel spin here. Look at these graphics. So it's showing me which wheels are spinning. So I'm gonna have to back up and try a slightly different route. <laughs> Whoa, it's slippery. So my prediction is we're not getting anywhere very fast. Oh, wow, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. It is slippery. Wow, this is gonna be tough. Oh man, there's like zero traction. We might not even have enough traction to get this done. It might be too slippery. Oh man, all right. the best line let me back up a little bit more here let's try this let's go into our off-road pages low traction launch activate Shit. Oh man, 
that. You think it might be too slippery. You guys enjoying this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up, all right? Let's activate the low traction launch again. I'm gonna try to go up the side there and then cut across to see. It's just all these wet roots is what's giving me all the problems. So this video might turn into, hey, we're gonna get up this hill once today and that's it. We'll have to come back and go through the modes because it is just, it's just so, so slippery. And it's that big route that I showed you guys in the in the beginning of the video that was that I said this is probably gonna give me the problems and that's exactly what it is. I, I can't get over that hump. So I'm gonna try to hug the right a little bit more um, and see if that goes so. Let's try that. Okay, change of plans. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this into auto mode. And I'm gonna just see if the truck can kind of send power where it needs to go and see if that does anything. Cause obviously what I was doing wasn't working. Nope. Okay, here's the last thing we're gonna do and then we're just gonna have to give up on this hill. And maybe we'll just take the easy route and make a video out of that. Um, okay. So we're gonna use the all train progress control. So it's basically like off road cruise control. And so you hit that button. And then you can control the speed that it's gonna set up and resume. And then you basically, I'm just taking my foot off the accelerator and the truck is now gonna do everything. I'm just steering. Tires are smoking. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So we will do auto terrain. Drive and how you doing, babe? <laughs> I kind of want to close my eyes. <laughs> it's like 17 degrees. It's not overly steep, but mm. you know, it's steep enough. All right, so we're just gonna go up the side route because that's just, uh, it's too muddy. It's just way too muddy. But uh, we can go down it.
Was that not fucking epic or what? Holy shit. Man, but we didn't get up. And we don't get to do the video I really wanted to do, but we'll come back on a dry day and we'll get that done 100% because, yeah, but holy shit. Man, was that fucking slick. Damn. Let's go take a look at, take a look at that. Look at that craziness. All right, guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, yeah, we're gonna gather our thoughts here, but we'll probably just end this video right here. But uh, until next time, everybody, drive hard.